Hey friends, Osiris here, and in today's video, we're going over all the details with how you can get all 107 Wisps and Spiritomb in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So if the majority of you are like myself in approaching the game, Spiritomb and its side quests are going to be one of the last things that you do when completing your Pokedex. But it is something that you're going to need to do before you can kind of finish the game completely. This side quest kicks into effect after you quell Cleaver at the Grand Tree area and you make your way back to Jubilife and report to Komodo. After this, you are introduced to a brand new NPC character called Vessa who kind of explains that there's magic being unleashed in the Husui region and there was a calamity a hundred years ago and things are looking like it's going to head in that direction with what's going on at the minute and she asks you for your help she provides you with the odd keystone and asks you to go around the Husui region collecting these wisps these wisps look like this on the screen right now which is like a purple glowing flame and you will find them around uh, every single location in the Husui region now to be exact you're going to get seven in Jubilife Village and then 20 around the other areas of the Hisui region. You're going to have to visit each one individually and kind of hunt them out and it is a tedious task and for good reason why I left it to one of the last tasks to do when completing my own Pokedex. But that brings us to this guide and hopefully by providing you with the information where these wisps are it's going to make it a lot easier for you to complete than it was for myself. So the next series of scenes are going to be each map and area detailing exactly where all 107 wisps are in the entire game. I'm going to go through each map, Obsidian Fields, the Alabaster Icelands, Crimson Mirrorlands, Cobalt Coastline and Coronet Highlands. As as well as Jubilife Village so you can find out exactly where each of these wisps are in the next series of clips of what you're going to need to do is just pause the video on these ones when you're going through your game and you'll be able to kind of follow along and this should only take you between 30 to 40 minutes to collect every single wisp from around the area now some precursors before going into this some tips i would suggest doing before coming into this quest i would make sure that you've got braviary as your flying option it makes it a lot easier getting around each of the areas if you have braviary where you can fly and make sure that it is nighttime when you are hunting for these wisps because even though you have the markers on the maps that i'm going to provide for you it's a lot easier to identify these wisps especially if you're higher up if you can see that purple glow from the flames so just getting a bit further into your playthrough before you collect the wisps is definitely a way to do it another way to kind of cut down getting the wisps is actually just collecting them when you come across them in your playthroughs although one way to do this and this is how i approached it was i didn't collect a single wisp the entire time I played through the game, knowing that at some point I'm gonna just go out and do solely this. It was a bit difficult because I didn't have any direction to follow to help me get the wisps, but at the same time, if you've got the maps there to help you, it's going to cut down that process completely. And then you're not second guessing if you've been to an area and you've already picked it up from there. If you can't remember, it just makes it a lot easier. If you haven't picked a single wisp up before and you go out and dedicate a slot of time just to do this side quest, knowing that you haven't picked any wisps up already, will make it a lot easier. So with that all out of the way, friends, I'm now going to pass you over to each of the five different areas and all the wisp locations in sequence from Jubilife Village all the way through to the Coronet Highlands. So enjoy, pause the video as and when you need to. And if you want to leave this till later and come back, at least you know this resource is here to help you out.
Now, once you have all 107 wisps from around these five areas, you then come back to Jubilife Village. You'll speak to Vessa and she will ask you to meet you in Crimson Mere Land at the exact time that you first spoke to her when this whole quest started. So it's worth noting down, or at least remembering, was it morning, was it was it afternoon, was it evening, or was it night? Because you're gonna need to know the time of day when it was, and you're gonna have to change the time of day in camp before you head back to the Crimson Mirrorlands and head up to the Shrouded Ruins. Once you get to the Shrouded Ruins, you can go up to the ginormous Odd Keystone statue that's there, and then you can drop in the wisps into the statue. And this will initiate another cutscene with Vessa, who acts kind of mysterious in this this scene and whether or not she's spirit tomb, she's a wisp, she's a ghost. I don't know. The questions are kind of there. I'll let you kind of make your own mind up when you get to this point in the game. But at this stage, after this cutscene, then spirit tomb will appear and bang, you've got yourself your spirit tomb, you're going to be able to engage in a battle with it and catch it. Spirit tomb will be level 60 and it does hit pretty hard, it hits a lot harder than what you expect it to, but it is a very rare Pokemon and something that you're going to need to complete your deck, so do come prepared for this dark and ghost type Pokemon. But as I say friends, I hope this guide has been useful, I hope that the maps with the Wisp locations on are helpful, and if they are, please consider dropping a like onto the video it really does help the channel out head spread help spread the word about the maps and helping others with the same quest and i hope you have a lot of fun collecting them if you've got any questions drop them down below and good luck with this side quest it was definitely one of the harder ones in the game to complete but i hope you have a lot of fun doing it and getting that spirit tomb to complete your pokedex so friends that about does it wraps up thank you so much for tuning in as always really appreciate each and every one of you have a great rest of your day and i will see you on the channel for another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye